Alright, this is my master cylinder off my A30. Um, I didn't actually video it from taking it out because I didn't think it was going to come out. Uh, what I did though, I actually used some plus gas. I cleaned all the nuts and bolts off from all the threads and I give it a good spray with plus gas and I actually left it there for a day. Um, I did go back occasionally just to give it another squirt and amazingly everything came undone. Although the main body of the master cylinder looks a bit rusty but even the ends where the pipes go in, I don't see it or not. Oh come on, I've actually cut the pipes but the pipes are actually in quite good condition. So the plan now really is just to give it a good clean up and um, put it back together. Now I've, I think you can actually see in the bore, see a little, see a little bit in there, but the bore doesn't actually look too bad. When it's in the car, the pedal is actually solid and I just jumped on the pedal and it all freed up. So I'm going to try and clean it all up and then put it back together and see if it works. Now it's actually really well made believe it or not because when you look at this put itself, it's actually car steel and in modern day cars all there be is a bit of press steel the shape of a U and a bit and the pivot point would be just a, a nylon bush. Well this is completely different because it's car steel and I'll have a wipe that off a little bit. There's a phosphorus bronze or a brass bush in there. That's the pivot. That's the pivot pin. So in a, in a modern day, you just have a bit of nylon and a bolt or a pin through it. So what we've got in there, we've got a bush, we've got a pin, we've also got a grease nipple and a hole in it, so you can actually grease it. Although there wasn't any grease in it, and it does look a little bit worn, but I'm not too fussed about that. If I make a new one of them, it's not a problem. So really today I just going to clean it all up. Also the, the rubbers in the piston, that one's still flexible, and so is that one. So it just needs a very good clean up really. So I wasn't 100% sure it come apart because the uh, actual manual wasn't actually that clear. So let's get it cleaned. Well I'm not sure you can, you can see this very clearly or not. I don't think the camera's close enough but I'll try to explain it to you. This braking system is so weird, I've never seen anything like this before. The master cylinder I've got is there. And obviously when you apply pressure to the brake pedal, the pistons move down and discharges the fluid. The fluid will come out to the front, round there, through a T, and to each wheel. And each wheel has got two cylinders in each. Now the back one is a bit different. The back pipe, which is that one there, comes out into another, like a metering block at the back. And obviously there must be some sort of piston in there. So when you press the pedal, fluid goes through there, comes in there, and goes into here. Now it pushes the piston out that way, but then it all starts getting mechanical because there's a pivot there, and these are rods, which is so weird. And it goes so obviously that rod comes out, pushes that little connection there, and goes into the hubs and the handbrake. Again, it's, it's weird, there's a handbrake there, it just pushes into there, I suppose it compresses the fluid and pushes the back brakes on, if that's right. Well, we'll see anyway. This bit here is a bit I'm concentrating at the moment, and um, what I'll do later on, I'll just get, take this piece out, because hopefully it will come out. But it's a weird system, and I don't know why I didn't have hydraulic straight to the back, why they needed this lever and these rods. I'm real on it. Anyway, there you go. Seal on, sort of third time lucky. I've got it in the right way this time. Right, plan B. 
I've actually glued it onto there now. There's a little, little tiny. Sorry, show you the other one. So you can see there's a little, little tiny dimple in there. Yeah. And that can go into there. So what I've done, I've actually super glued it on. Well, it might be a good idea. Goes on there, then one of these washers goes on. I think that's it. Well, I might do it, I'll go and do it, put it in the vise. So that's got to go in there like that and, and circle it. We go on there. I'm just going to put it in the vise, make it a bit easier. Okay, I have to take it over in the vise to put it back together. So, what I've done now, put it all. Slide it all back in, there's a little snap ring that goes in there. Whether you can see it or not. It actually seems to be working. Let's see. Well, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take this piece off here, this little clevis, and put the gator over there. Then um, I'll put the rest of it back together. I think there must be some sort of adjustment on there for, I'm not sure what particular reason, but what I've done, I've, I've just measured. A distance here, I don't think the camera's focusing. I'll put the, the uh, rubber gate right over it and put it all back together. Well, oh, that's that bit done. Put it, that's all back together, it's all clicked in there nicely. It actually feels like it's going to work, but God knows. We'll see. Well, I'll, do, I'll just put it all back together now, and that'll be another little assembly done. Well, this is the last bit, just get it all back together now. Well, I've got a feeling this might actually work. Feels like it does, obviously. Well, let's get it back together. Now, I haven't got any um, plastic maker or sealant or anything like that. So, I'm just going to put a bit of this uh, silicon on. I don't really like silicon that much. So, what do I do? I'll just put a little bit around here just to seal it. Alright, well, that's all together now. I can actually see, I don't know if you can see through there. I'm going to point it down there. There's a little tiny bit of that silicon squeezing out all the way around, around the edge. I don't think you can actually see it. Well, that bit's actually done there. Well, I actually thought that when I got the kit, it came with a new cap. That's why I didn't worry about the paint. Anyway, well, I'll sort that out later. I'll screw the nuts back on and the washers. That's it, I'll hold it, I'll hold it to the floor pan. All five of them do. Now just get the arm back in there. Obviously, as before, I've cleaned everything up. Didn't notice there's a, a big hole and a small hole, so obviously, I've got to go through it like that. Get it out of the way. Yeah, you can see I've, I've put a new grease nipple in it. It's all cleaned up nicely. It's actually clear in there. So, as I assembled it, I will grease it, and afterwards, I'll get a grease coming out. I think well, I do actually over, overboard it with it, all the grease. Well, I think I've put too much on, but I think too much is uh, better than not enough. Oh, I missed a bit of paint there, isn't it? Never mind. I'll give this a touch up after. Well, you don't even see it anyway. 
This isn't really the point, but there you go. Let's get that bit of grease on there. I think I'm going to point it down so I can get the grease gun on it. Let's get a washer for that. Hang about, let's get a washer. Well, the only washer I can find is. Oh, it's not too bad. I just didn't want to scratch the paint, really, that's all. So it goes in there like that. Show the grease on the other side, point it down. 